Computers have grown to become integrated with our daily lives. Have you ever considered though, what does antivirus protect on your computer? All of that information stored on your hard drive is susceptible to hackers and viruses. Antivirus software has become a major necessity for businesses and individual household computers. With more people putting personal important information on their computers, the demand for antivirus software has increased. Antivirus software was introduced in the early to mid 1980s. Antivirus software was introduced in the early to mid 1980s. In 1987, Bern Fix, a German hacker and computer security expert, devised a method to neutralize the Vienna virus. This event marks the first documented antivirus software ever written. While viruses in the early 80s were limited to self-reproduction and did no damage to the computers, today's viruses can do a lot of damage not only to your computer, but also your financial accounts. Even the most security conscious person can be hacked or have their identity stolen. This of course results in many difficulties such as canceling credit cards, monitoring your bank accounts, and in a worst case scenario, having your checking and savings account drained. Uh, about three months ago I had a problem with my computer. Uh, started out with the modem being a problem, so I called up Charter and got that taken care of. And after that, I uh, had a friend come over named Drew who went through the computer and uh, found a virus, quarantined it, and then he used a lot of the programs that were in my computer and took them out. And I had Norton uh, antivirus in there as well, along with a couple other ones. And he took those out as well, as long as the programs. And it took uh, probably about 30 minutes for him to take a lot of the programs out. Once he did that, we went back online. Uh, computer worked a lot faster, performed a little bit better. With over 40 different types of antivirus software to choose from, one may wonder which is the best. Some may also wonder, does antivirus software really help or does it just slow down your computer and cost you money? That's a pretty good question. Uh, I would uh, say no on that one, but if you have, let's say, antivirus and anti-spyware, then you can possibly do that. But if you have two antivirus programs running with each other, then they're most likely going to fight each other, which won't end well. If I remember correctly, I think Best Buy would charge somewhere around $70 to reformat, and then they'll probably try tossing in some additional fees to get some more money, um, but it's really it's something that you can easily do yourself. Oh yeah, uh, I, I, I reformat my computer just periodically, uh, usually every half year, just to keep it at speed. Uh, I mean, realistically, I guess you can just always reformat the hard drive and it'll be fine. I've never actually seen a computer completely destroyed by a virus to where you can't even reformat the hard drive. I mean, I, I've heard of cases to where it happens, but i never personally seen that done. Yes, many companies uh, will offer different grades. Uh, for example, like AVG, they have their their famous free antivirus program, which is just like a uh, uh, a simplified version. All it does is just antivirus protection, and then they'll also you can also pay probably forty dollars or so for uh, a better version that that also protects from anti spyware, antivirus, and so forth. Uh, they all pretty much all the, those companies do McAfee, Norton. Um, for the most part. Uh, 
Uh, it, it, it's been improved over the past years, but yes, it does slow down your computer, especially if you're scanning. If you're scanning, it's going to be really difficult to uh, use your computer. And usually a scan can take a while, depending on what type of scan you're doing, a full scan or a quick scan. If it's a full scan, it can take a couple hours to do. Uh, I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of antivirus actually, uh, simply because uh, they way overcharge. Uh, for like a Norton, they would charge a hundred bucks for a year subscription, which I, I do not believe in paying for something. Uh, who probably most likely makes the viruses? They probably sub out other people to create viruses themselves. It's a market, and uh, gotta gotta get to where people pay for stuff. So who? Why not make the viruses yourself? Uh, if I I use on my computer, it's just a free internet antivirus from Microsoft, just my, Microsoft Security Essentials, because it's free. I don't believe in paying for it. Antivirus software are notorious for constantly reminding you that your subscription has ended and that your system is defenseless. Even after years of not paying for protection, a user will still get pop-ups unless they uninstall the program. Uh, I personally haven't seen one, but uh, in the business environment, you can't really have a system get infected. Any time your computer gets infected at all, uh, it's really going to be a foothold into your network, your system. There are huge fines associated with you know customers' information getting leaked out to the public, any hacks, any of that stuff, it's all very moderated. So it's pretty important. I but again personally I have not seen a computer get you know lost to a virus like totaled. Alright, so malware stands for um, malicious software. So basically viruses, spyware, ransomware, that's all gonna be under that malware umbrella. It's anything that's gonna harm your system, steal your information, that kind of thing. So if you go down um, viruses, they can be doing things to your computer like uh, controlling your webcam, monitoring for uh, bank details, sending that information off, that kind of thing. So they can do a lot of nasty things to you. Um, that stuff is generally transmitted through if you go a link from an unknown sender in your email, that's a big one for companies to look out for. You know, go to non-approved websites, that kind of thing. So spyware, uh, that's going to be um, any viruses that are on your computer monitoring your activity unknowingly to you. Um, again, that's a whole monitor for bank details, social security numbers, that kind of stuff, and fire that off to whoever's you know, snooping on you. And the last one is ransomware. This is kind of a newer threat. So what it's going to be doing is um, it'll kind of act like it'll actually disable components of your computer, so you won't be able to go to you know any websites but one website, their website. You won't be able to you know your mouse and stuff will cut out eventually. So it, it'll make you act like feel like your system is infected with something. And it's the, the virus itself will actually display an antivirus screen and tell you, you know, hey, we can fix this for about $200. Send us the money and it'll stop bugging you for a while and it'll come back. So that's another kind of a newer threat. Uh, by grades, I mean, there's two different types. I mean, for business environments, and there's going to be residential. So uh, for business environments, you're really looking at the user doesn't really need to know that the antivirus software is there. They just need to do their work safely and securely. So that's more kind of, there's not as much emphasis on the user interface, that kind of thing. For residential, there's a lot more, you know, hey, your subscription ended, hey, you know, there's all these charts and stuff to show you there's different viruses, what you're infected by, that kind of thing. So cost. Um, for a business, you're really looking at the IT personnel's hours that, that would take to re reformat the system. Um, as far as, you know, residential, you know, you would be the one doing this. There's not really a whole lot of cost there. And generally, the system itself, will, you know, it depends on how you reform the system, basically. Um, for businesses, um, a lot of the time it's quicker because they have um, kind of all-in-one images for their system, so it takes, you know, maybe an hour or two. And it's going to have most of the software that the employees would need. Um, for personal use, generally, you've got a couple options if you're just installing the operating system. And you can do a quick format, which takes really about 30 minutes. But if you're doing the full format, that can take you know anywhere from 30 minutes up to an hour. And then installing all your you know your personal you know your games or your 
Microsoft Office and all that stuff. That can take a little, you know, obviously, additional time to do it individually versus having one image that has everything for it. Generally, you're going to want to have one antivirus software and one malware scanner. Um, if you have multiple antivirus or programs, they're going to they can actually cause problems with each other and error out, and not work. So it'll take take a lot less of your computer's bandwidth and resources to run one versus two as well. Antivirus software companies and viruses are not going anywhere anytime soon. As long as there are people to hack and computers to infect, viruses and hackers will always be there lurking in the shadows of the internet.